Taking simply means part of a whole. Taking part out of a whole. So let's see, we have a circle and we have divided it into four equal parts. And we decide to take this one out. Then it means we are taking one out of the total, that is four. So it simply means one over four. So fraction represents parts of the whole. And fraction is being represented in the form A over B. Whereby A, the top one, represents the numerator. And B, the down one, also represents the denominator. Okay, so when we say fraction, fraction is represented on the form A over B, the numerator over the denominator. All right. All right, now let's move on to types of fraction. We have several types of fractions, but we will focus our attention on five, at most five of them. So first, we will talk about like fractions. When we say like fraction, like fraction is simply fractions of the same denominator, different fractions having the same or common denominator. Example is so this one represents like fraction because they are all having the same denominator. So two we have unlike fractions. Unlike fractions is also a fractions having different denominators. Their denominators are not the same. So we have example like This one also represents fraction, unlike fractions because their denominators are not the same. The third type is proper fractions. When we say proper fraction, proper fraction also are fractions whereby the numerator is less than the denominator. Example, we have this one is also proper fraction because the numerators, they are smaller or lesser than their respective denominators. The fourth type we talk about is improper fractions. Improper fraction, also, they are fractions having the numerator being greater than the denominator. So we have example like Five over two. These are also examples of improper fractions because their numerators are greater than their respective denominators. Also, the last type of fraction that we will talk about is mixed fractions. Mixed fraction also involves fraction with having whole number and also uh, either proper or improper fractions attached to it. So we have seven whole number. 
3 out of 4 or 5 full number 7 out of 3 or 2 whole number 6 out of 4 so these are also missed fractions because they are a, a fraction with whole number and at the same time proper or improper fraction attached to it so basically these are types of fractions that we want to talk about and the one is like fractions 2 unlike fractions 3 proper fractions 4 improper fractions and 5 mixed fractions right, so now let's focus our attention on addition and subtraction of fractions now, we already know the types of fractions. We have discussed it earlier. And we are now turning or shifting our attention to addition and subtraction of fractions. So we have example here. Simplify 1 over 3 plus 2 over 5. And this one involves proper fractions because the numerator is smaller or lesser than the denominator. So in such situations, First, you will find the LCM of both sides or both fractions. And we already know how to find LCM, so we will not go back to it. So the LCM of 3 and 5, we have 15. So you, from this, the left side, 3, 3 goes into 15 how many times? Which is 5. So the 5, you multiply it by the numerator. So 5 times 1 will give you 5. Then the equation sign will come plus 5 also goes into 15 how many times? 3. So 3 times the numerator which is 2. That will give you 3 times 2 is 6. So you perform the equations on the numerator. 5 plus 6 is 11 over 15. So our final answer is 11 over 15. Alright, let's also solve this question. We have to simplify 7 over 4 minus 1 over 4. This is a type of fractions known as like fractions because their denominators are the same. And in such situation, what you have to do is you write one of the denominators, that is 4, and then subtract the numerators, 7 minus 1. So perform the equation, 7 minus 1 will be 6, and then the denominator. This one you can simplify it further. So when you simplify it, 2 goes here, 2 and goes here, 3. So now the final answer will be 3 on. Two. All right. Now we want to talk about multiplications of fractions, and we have some examples here. Simplify three over five times two over six, and in multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and also we multiply the denominators. You don't multiply one numerator and one denominator. You do you multiply the numerators and also multiply the denominators. So first, you multiply the numerators and also you multiply the denominators. Three times two, that will be six, and five times six, that will be thirty. So you ask yourself, can you reduce this one further? And the answer is yes. So you reduce it. The number that can reduce it to its simplest form is 6 because 6 is a factor of 8. So 6 goes into 6, 1 and goes here 5. And so now the, our final answer will be 1 out of 5. Okay. We have 3 whole number, 3 out of 4 times 4 whole number, 4 over 3. We have to multiply this one. Since we are having mixed fractions, we cannot multiply straight away. 
we have to also change this mispression to improper fractions before we can multiply them. And if you have to change this one first, you multiply the denominator by the whole number. The answer that you get, you add it to the numerator over the denominator. So first, you multiply this one, 3 times 4 plus the numerator over the denominator times then you write the one here. So you are going to simplify this one further and then we multiply them. 3 times 4 will be 12 plus 3, 15. So 15 over the denominator, 4 times 4 and 3. So now we have improper fractions and we are to multiply them. As we did earlier, multiply the numerators and also multiply the denominators. So 15 times 4 over 4 times 3. 15 times 4 will give us 60 over 4 times 3. That will be 12. Alright. So 12, we can still simplify this further. 12 is also a factor of 60. So you can use 12 to simplify them. 12 goes in, into 60 how many times? 5 times. And goes here 1. So our final answer will be 5. Thank you.